Oh, hello. As you know, I am Fundy Q Monster, the most popular puppet in all of media. And while Jason is off jerking his gherkin, I guess, we are going into reruns for the main segment. This week, an appropriately old segment which probably features me without arms, Gary without his bug eyes, and Jason looking kind of sedate, actually. Or maybe not, since no one decided to inform me what rerun we're going to be showing. Hopefully it's one that you guys haven't watched over and over and over again, and one where I, uh, my life is not being threatened. Wouldn't that be nice? Just one where I'm not being threatened with murder, just because I happen to believe in a god. Wouldn't that be great? Anyway, enjoy. Hey guys, you know what I like? I like ponies. Watching them run through a field, their muscles rippling, their coats glistening in the sun. It makes me really, really... Stop, stop, stop. Enough of your atheist prattle. Attention, YouTube atheists. I personally challenge your belief systems. You are all morons, sodomists, plagiarists, pedophiles, and bestialitists. This means you. Yeah, you. Now, what are you gonna do about it? Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? I'm creating internet drama, the lifeblood of YouTube. I'm calling out all atheists. For no better reason other than drama? Yeah, conflict is awesome. You hear me, you bunch of illiterate Satan humpers? I mock you and your video making style, whoever you are. Internet drama doesn't work that way. It, it usually starts off with some statement or maybe an action that someone takes offense to. Oh, like this? I want to make a rainbow. What? I want to make a rainbow. You want to make a rainbow? Yeah. And I want to eat five pounds of bacon. No, I am not commenting on that video. You just can't manufacture drama. Well, you can, but that's not the point. I don't like drama. Besides, you can't usually have drama between camps. Most major dramas occur with people who are supposedly on the same side. So, in order to create a drama, I would have to insult another fundamentalist? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Venifang X, your interpretation of the Bible is weak and you're ugly. Hey, Nephilim Free, you're a big, dumb moron with food stuck in your mustache. Hey, Ken Ham, you look like an Amish guy and Abraham Lincoln had a baby and then that baby was dropped down some stairs into an acne scar machine. Man, this is hard. It helps if you're friends with them first. Well, that's a problem because I don't friend anyone. You know what else helps? What? It helps if you did it on someone else's channel because I don't do YouTube drama. You could always false flag a video and then lie about flagging it. Or we could be nice and not do any of this. Oh, but it's fun. Yeah, if there was no YouTube drama to participate in, I would have to go back to chronic masturbating. Look, I'm just looking out for us. I mean, drama wars can dry the subs and views up. Then I can spread my message of guilt-filled self-denial, I mean, fundamentalism, to the whole atheist community. I'm not in this for subs or views. I mean, subs and views are nice, but I don't want to create drama to get them. Isn't that what schoolyard bullies do? Pick fights for no reason? Is that what you guys want? You want to be like the schoolyard bullies who, who, who made you feel like crap and hurt your feelings? Yes! Well, I don't care. Not all drama is intentional, uh, but some sure does seem manufactured. What do you guys think? Have you ever wondered um, how much YouTube drama was manufactured or completely avoidable? Uh, comment or make a video response. Yeah, I dare you to comment. Go ahead and do it. Unless you're a chicken. Fuck.
Monty Monster! We don't cuss on this internet channel. I think I'm gonna faint. Jeez, this was fun until you had to drop that S-bomb. Thanks a lot. Really? FM. I thought you were better than that. Wait! Wait! It was an accident! I, I, I didn't mean to cuss! I got carried away! Guys, come back! Guys! Oh, come on! Well, f What the heck was that? <laughs> Hello, my fellow Opinion Villagers. Today is Friday, March 21st, 2014, and it's... Afghanistan Day. Brain Injury Awareness Day, International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination Day, International Day of Forest and the Tree, International Day of Nowruz, Memory Day, WE Day, National Common Courtesy Day, National Day of Action on Syringe Exchange, National Puppy Day, National Single Parent Day, Poetry Day, Spring Fairy Fun Day, and World down syndrome day. Wow, it's like a giant hippie liberal threw up all over the calendar. Now, on to the questions. Atheist King asks, Intimate question. What do you think of the amazing flying atheist's total mental breakdown? I like it. I just hope I'm not uh, asked to testify at some future trial after he takes the breakdown out into the real world. And speak of the devil, the Amazing Flying Atheist asks, Intimate question for AJ. How are you preparing for the alien invasion? Tinfoil hats? Tinfoil hats work. Sorry I didn't make Oswald smart like I meant. I think the alien beams are too strong. What about a den? I have a den, but I'm running out of space to put all the food. And then I realized I need water. And what if the aliens work with evil Oswald? Ladies and gentlemen, I will now answer in fluent crazy person so that the amazing flying atheist can understand me. <clears throat> Georgia, don't put those baloney crowns in the crisper drawer. Benji ate the time codes. Wes the Shaman asks, intimate question for Oswald, Pepsi or Coke? I don't always drink cola, but when I do, I drink RC cola. Stay dehydrated, my friends. The Astro Bleem asks, Intimate question for Oswald. You are the cutest monster ever. Is your mom a MILF? Monster, I'd like to F. Monster, you'd like to what? Feel? Well, I don't blame you. She's furry like me. But unlike me, my mom has got it going on. All the kids in the neighborhood said so. And on weekends, when she washes the car in a bathing suit, lots of guys want to come over and try to be my new dad, at least for a couple of hours. Sick of Washington asks, Question for Oswald. What happened to the guy in the van that promised he had puppies? Well, he drove me out to the woods, and then he took off all of his clothes, which was scary. And then the voice in my head said he was a bad man. So I broke his neck and set his van on fire. Thanks, voice in my head. You are welcome. Well, that's an appropriately dark place to end. Remember, if you have an intimate question that you want to ask intimate questions, leave that intimate question down in the comment section. Every week, I pick the first five and answer them. So, good luck. Until next time, true believers, this has been Jason with the Day. Hey, Jason. What? Want to come over to my house and have a sleepover? I'm in my 40s, Oswald. And I am in my 30s, so what? Adults don't have sleepovers. Says who? My mom is going to make your favorite snack. Rice Krispie treats with Skittles in them? Yep, but I guess I'll tell my mom to just throw them all away, those delicious, fruity, yet oddly disgusting snack treats. But no, I got to do the shout outs now. Hey everybody, time to shout out your name. Hello, Unknown Fire 25. If a fire is unknown, does it truly burn? This is Overkill. What is Overkill? Doing shout outs every freaking week? 
It sure is. Crap man. Um, crap man, can you maybe take a shower before saving the city? Sold out activist. Oh, like Jason is. He said he used to believe in stuff, but it turned out he liked money more. The night in jail. That's what I did after the day I thought the school needed to be painted blue. Who knew you had to get permission to paint stuff? An eternal skeptic. An eternal skeptic? There's more than one of you? Are there like two eternal skeptics? Fish and evil. We had a fish and evil restaurant downtown, but they couldn't cook the evil right. Rad Antelope. You are from the 80s, Antelope. A time where everything was rad. Or bitching. Star Theo. The only Dark Lord of the Sith that wears a colorful cable knit sweater. The Music Fiend. Since you spelled both the and music wrong, I am going to guess that you meant to write friend and not fiend. So you are the music friend. Aww. Atheist Anon. Atheist Anon? Is that like Al-Anon? Is it for people who have like an atheist problem? Okay, that's all. Remember to tell me, Jason, if you want your name shouted out. Bye. Hey, Oswald, I decided that I want to have the sleepover after all. Yay, my mom will be so happy. Your mom is going to be happy? Why is your mom going to be happy? Because that's who you're having the sleepover with. Duh. Oh, no, you don't. I already told you and her before that what happened between the two of us was years ago, and I don't feel that way. But mom said you're going to be my new dad. She bought new underwear for the sleepover and everything. They are missing the crotch. I have a girlfriend. Did I mention that there are tropical fruit flavored Skittles in those Rice Krispie treats? And that the panties are missing the crotch? Tropical fruit flavored Skittle Rice Krispie treats? Uh, no, you back off. I love my girlfriend. And we're drinking strawberry quick. I'll be there at seven. Oh, hello. Remember me? Of course you don't, because I'm barely on the channel. I am Trudeau, and I'm here to ask you to please subscribe. Or, if you want to watch a previous episode, pr click the previous episode thing. Or, if you want to purchase a t-shirt, then click on that. Or, if you want to visit the channel from the guy who makes all the music, you can do that as well. Is this all I am doing here? I don't have my own segment or anything? Just tell people to click on buttons? Well, why don't you just put a big sign up that says, click on buttons. You didn't have to drag me all the way from home. I had a nice, warm cup of soup and a decent book that I was going to read. And then you give me a call and I think, oh, goody, I'm going to be a contributing member to the site. But no, now I'm just here telling people to click on things.